Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be working on part two of our Dark Angels uh, kind of painting tutorial you do. I got a lot of feedback. When I say a lot, it wasn't too much, but I got a couple guys giving me grief saying, you know what? The Dark Angels, it's the red bolt guns that make them awesome. And part of me wanted to say, yeah, well, maybe, okay. And then you do your research and you look at it and like, no, actually, even the newer kind of layouts have the red as well. So um, I'm going to spend a little bit of time today and I'm just going to uh, kind of tidy up a few things. Now we're going to work on other things as well. We're going to work on uh, clearly making the first bolter, uh, the bolt rifle red. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the purity seals. And then we're going to spend some time on heraldry and kind of choosing our decals. Uh, I know it's decals in the rest of the world, but we're Canadian. Canadian, so it's decals. Um, so uh, let's start off with uh, getting that bolt rifle a nice uh, vibrant red. So I'm going to start off with Mephiston red. Now at the same time that I would have done the purity seals before, um, so basically after the metallics and before uh, before we kind of wash and all that, uh, I would do the Mephiston red and I would just do that Mephiston red around uh, the bolt rifle here. So I'm just going to do that on the casing on the outside, that kind of cowling. Oh yeah, it looks really good actually. I really like that. And I'm going to carefully work my way around um, all of the color or all the metallics here. And again, we're doing it this way because it's a lot easier to paint uh, kind of that larger surface than the smaller surface of the metallics. And this Mephiston Red is nice because it goes on, uh, you know, uh, very easily over the black or over the um, or over the green. Okay, so the red's all on this guy, and again, this would have been done during the initial base coat, and then we would have washed the whole model uh, all at the same time. So this would be on this state, then we would wash, and off we go. Now I've already kind of gone to completion with the colors on this guy, uh, so what I'm just going to do is just wash the, the just the casing for the um, for the bolt rifle there. So um, the wash I use is a custom wash. Uh, you would have seen it in part one, and it's 25% uh, null oil, 25% Agrax Earth Shade and 25, sorry, and 50% floor wax. So 25 Nuln, uh, 25 Agrax, and 50% uh, just regular um, everywhere you can find floor wax or floor polish. So I'm just going to go around now and just kind of shade in uh, the red on the bolt rifle here. Okay, so, uh, and again, this would be done exactly the same time as we would do uh, the rest of the model. So I'll let this sit now for about... Well, it's not a lot of wash on here, so I'll probably let it sit for about just 20 minutes or so. All right, so I'll let the wash sit, and now uh, I'm just going to do an edge highlight now of uh, Wild Rider Red. And, uh, yeah, it's really bringing out a lot of color. I, if it's a deep red, it's not too bad. I always think it looks a little bit too kind of Christmassy, the red and green and stuff. Uh, a friend of mine did red and green Tyranids, and they looked awesome but they just had a very distinct kind of look to them. It reminded me having a red and uh, blue Lego as a kid, I don't know. Anyway, um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna go over the edges here. Super careful. I can always go back and touch up after if I uh, go a little too heavy on the highlights, which looks like I might have done a little bit here. All right, and because I went in a little bit strong with the highlights, as I often do, because, you know, it seems like I'm always in a hurry that way, uh, I'm just going to go back in with a little bit more uh, Mephiston Red, uh, just to kind of tidy up those lines. And again, I've got a whole video on this subtractive edge highlighting here, and it's a great way to get kind of your finer details in without having to have perfectly steady hands uh, the whole time. And then on the other side, you'll see I did totally just that. Uh, but I'll just go in here and just toss in a bit of this Mephiston Red. And just tidy up those big sloppy highlights there. Nice and easy. Okay, so the red's looking pretty solid. It's nice to have that highlight in there and just kind of going back in and returning a bit of that color back in and kind of finding up, finding, refining the lines uh, of our uh, bolt rifle there. So uh, the next thing I'm going to use is my uh, Micron pen here. It's the 0 .005. It's usually what I use for infantry. And when I was blacklining the rest of the model is typically when I would blackline this as well. And I will pick out things like uh, the bolts here on the outside, uh, any of these little kind of special uh, little pop out kind of details here. And we're just gonna add a black line to give it more of a dramatic uh, dramatic kind of uh, 
no character to it there. And I'm going to go over any of the, um, obviously any of the kind of different textures will do that. Uh, but we'll also do it where two colors meet as well, just to kind of define uh, the way that looks. And you can see between the top and the bottom there, it makes a world of difference. And um, it really adds a lot of character to your model. It gives a lot of depth to your model. And it makes it just super easy to, uh, you know, to just kind of fill in those nooks and crannies. So anywhere there's uh, two colors that meet or anywhere that there's two textures that meet, I'd go in and do that black lining. Now I've already done that for the rest of the model, uh, but this isn't too bad uh, what we got going on here. Okay, so while I've got my pen out here, uh, I'm also going to work on the purity seals and I'm just going to write just like the squiggly lines, uh, just like a little script. And I'm gonna be super fine with those lines but it gives us just a sense of a script. Now, again, it's one of those things that really kind of looks decent from far away, uh, but I really like uh, having that little bit of script in there and the Micron pens are perfect for that. Okay, so after I got the purity seals done, uh, I'm going to mark up the pauldrons and I'm going to stick with my kind of pre-heresy, kind of rogue trader days, uh, since the coming of Gilmon kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is actually quarter my panels in here uh, for you know some of them, and then I'll do whole panels as well. And then whenever I see something that's leadership, I'll throw in that single kind of stripe on the, on the shoulder pauldrons. Uh, but how to paint that, the colors that I use, let's get these guys out of the way. So what I'll do to paint that is I'll actually go in and I'll take my Micron pen and what I'll do is I'll just quarter those panels there just like this with a Micron pen. Okay, and then I'll find that kind of halfway mark. Now, visually, I know there's a lot more mass kind of at the bottom of shoulder pad, but the quarter is right around halfway up that line. So I'll just bring that over and I'll quarter my panels here. Now, one of the things that I really liked about the Blood Angels version that I did here is I like that kind of matte uh, kind of approach, and it's a little bit bolder with the um, Ultramarines here, uh, where we've got that kind of lighter blue-gray. Uh, but what I really liked with the Blood Angels is that nice kind of off-color, you know, it's a complementary color for sure, but I really like that kind of off color, very matte, very kind of flat. Uh, so what I'm going to do with our Dark Angel here is on those quarters, I'm going to use Nurgling Green. And uh, I'm just gonna go in here now, and kind of go in and fill in that one corner. And then I'll go in and fill the other corner as well. Now. The beautiful part about this is that we've got our basic colors in. So if I do mess this up in any way, I can always go back in and I can kind of uh, finish up those edges uh, with our base colors there. And then I can again go in with the black lining and uh, you know just tidy up those lines as well. So uh, I'm gonna just take my time with some thin down coats here. I just kind of work my way into having those panels done. Okay, so I've got the colors on and, um, you know, I maybe it's a little bit brighter than you're hoping for or or what have you, but I think once you get the decals, yes, decals of Canadian, um, once you get the decals on, I think it really kind of lines them all up and it is nice having that contrast. And again, I keep saying it, but one of the things that I really like to do with dark models is to not have a lot of dark parts on them if that makes sense. Um, I like lots of contrast and color so um, you can see that uh, I went back in uh, I did the Nurgling Green and then I went and tidied up with my uh, Caliban Green here and then uh, after that uh, you can see the lines still aren't that perfect so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my Micron pen here and I'm just going to go in and kind of reline. Now all that does is it evens out that contrast kind of between the two or if there's if it's a little bit messy so you can kind of uh, muddy it around uh, and if the lines aren't perfect you can kind of redraw them in so a combination of the micron pens uh, a combination of the uh, base color that you had in there and then going in and uh, kind of black lining where you need to 
and then just topping up on color where, where you need. And it just kind of frames it all off nicely. Now, uh, I'll go around here, I'll tidy it all up, and then I'll throw my uh, decals on board. And uh, we'll see how it looks in the end. Okay, so we've got the decals all on, and um, I'm really digging the, the final result of this guy here. Uh, obviously, you can see that we've got uh, you know all the choices out of the... Uh, you know, the basic box there. Um, so I went through here, I applied a couple of campaign badges, I did the overlay of the uh, you know, the red uh, tactical arrows and the number there. Uh, there's loads of gloss on here. It's just my method for putting on the uh, the, the transfers. Um, but uh, when I hit it with like a matte spray, it used to be purity seal, now it's that munitorum spray or whatever. Uh, it looks really nice because it mattes and it kind of blends all the spots down and it kind of ties all the colors in together. Uh, but that's it for this guy. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, this was a ton of fun to put together. Uh, my first army was uh, Dark Angels and I really like kind of the end effect of having them all done up. Uh, going back to the red bolter, you know, definitely is more of a classic style. I've got the black uh, bolter bolt rifle in the uh, older other video there, and um, I mean, I really like that kind of you know gritty look as well. But this looks pretty solid. Uh, I know there's a lot more color on this guy than a normal kind of dark angels uh, setup. But what I really think is important is that we don't just have these muddy uh, models just kind of kicking around the table. I really like having a little bit of color. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, again, hope it was of value. And uh, jab that like button, obviously. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider subscribing. And make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll get notifications of all of our future videos, uh, all of our streaming, everything. So uh, that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.